Hello there, Gemini. How's things going? Sorry I haven't been around. I've been pretty busy. Uh, but anyway, I'm glad I'm here and I'm going to start doing your reading now. It looks really good too, by the way. Um, I see blessings and gifts. I see all kinds of good stuff. Um, but I wanted to um, kind of do the reading here a little bit different. Um, uh, I pulled a couple of a warm runes. These are the a warm runes here. These are from um, Ireland and Scotland. And these particular uh, runes uh, were very popular when Rome occupied Scotland and Ireland. So these are, this is pretty cool reading. Okay, so anyway, um, the reason why I didn't pull these out or, uh, you know, live is because I had to re-record. Something happened with my last video, so it didn't, it didn't come out very well. So I had to redo it. So this is a redo. Um, but it looks really good. Um, you know, uh, Gemini, I see Inguas here. This is Inguas, all right? And this is very significant because you have it twice. See, you have it here and you have it here. Now, Inguas is very, very positive. Um, and it's something uh, that's going to propel you forward very, very positively. All right? Um, and it's also... Um, it also, uh, indicates, uh, you know, it can indicate, uh, s uh, s uh, strong sexual activity as well. So it could be like a really good partnership or something, um, you know, a, a healthy sexual relationship for sure. Cause I see it twice. Um, and also with Inguaz, I'm feeling that, you know, this is like the ending of one phase of your life and the beginning of another phase. All right. Now, you could be dealing with, uh, with some sort of a family member here, Gemini. I see Othala. This is, this is the family. Okay. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the family. It could be somebody really close to you, but, um, and you could be also dealing with the Pisces as well. Okay. Cause this is Piscean energy right here. And I see a lot of Aquarius energy as well. Inguaz uh, represents Aquarius and I see it, you know, twice. So, you know, maybe you're dealing with an Aquarian too. You could be dealing with any sign, Gemini. I'm just talking about the, the ones that come up most prominent that I see. All right. Um, now with Gable over here, this is some sort of a great blessing uh, or gift. Um, because I feel that money is uh, some, some sort of money is, uh, you know, is involved here. You have Fehu here. And someone actually could be even receiving a, an inheritance of some sort. You know, that's a possibility as well. Um, just for someone, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest, but um, yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. I, I, I feel that money is, is definitely, um, money, money is involved for sure. Okay. I'm not saying you're going to get a bunch of money or anything like that, but I definitely see money here, you know, and I see it next to Othala. So maybe somebody's going to give you some money because I see Gable right here. I see Gable right there. And like I said, for some, it could be an inheritance because Othala means inheritance. That's what it literally means. Okay. But, you know, I feel that also, uh, Gemini, you've been feeling left in the dark and left in the cold uh, because I see Canads here in reverse. All right. But the good news is, is that is going away because you have the death rune right here. This is Awas. This is the death rune. This is the end of something and the beginning of something else. And with it next to Inguas, again here, it's 
you know, the end of one cycle of your life and the beginning of another. All right. Um, and you're going to be able to, to see clearly because you have the sun. This is the sun. So the sun illuminates everything. So what was left in the dark, you know, what was, you, you know, feeling left out, left in the dark is, is going away. The, the light is shining on it. And you have Kanaz over here, which is victory and success. So this is turning around to this. And that's freaking awesome, right? <laughs> I think so. And then with the uh, the Two of Cups, I feel that this could be some sort of a reconciliation with someone as well, uh, Gemini. Or it could just be, you know, you and a, uh, someone else together. You know, I do see Ingwa's here twice, so, uh, yeah. All right, so anyway, I pulled these warm runes out. And that's these. And let's get into those. These are pretty deep, so... I got to just find, <laughs> find where it is. Um, yeah, you know, I still have to look in the book for these ones because I don't pull them enough. I should probably pull them every day and then I, because oh, this flimsy little book is about ready to wear out. <laughs> I just hardly ever use it. It's still wearing out. Where the heck is it? I'm sorry, Gemini. Uh, there, there we go. <clears throat> All right. So this has one, two, three, four. Okay. So the name of this particular um, rune is called Iyu. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that right. Iyu. And uh, this is uh, the aspen tree. All right. So Ia opens communication and connection between worlds, people, and individuals. They ask us to consider advice from our elders and listen to messages from spirit. Ia can act as a small voice of God providing guidance, encouragement, and protection to overcome turbulent situations. They appear in a reading as a nudge to get things moving. Uya can also signify money. So this can also signify money. And look, you have Fehu right here. All right. Interesting. So let's look at this one here. <laughs> All right. So the name of this particular uh, rune, Gemini, is Ur. Ur. And this is the spindle tree. This is a piece of spindle tree. And Ur is the sudden insight that arrives in a pearl of thunder and a flash of lightning. This energy represents fate and destiny. Ur can represent the completion of a task. So this is the completion of one thing and the beginning of another. With Ingwa's there and with Awas right there. Yeah, it looks like a really good reading there, uh, you guys. What else is going on here with Gemini? It's a time for healing. Polismic Bilis moon. <laughs> All right, Gemini? All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again uh, next week. All right, Gemini, bye for now.